subscription from Nazara Mobile Tech. And this is the first time you guys actually see my face. So if you're wondering what I look like, now you know. So I'm here with my new MacBook Pro. It is the older version, not the Retina display model. Still runs so smooth, so beautiful, beautiful system, software and hardware. So I'm really in love with it. And I did have two Windows 8 PCs in two days, so I had to switch. So I'm loving it. Loving that make uh, that choice I made. Sorry you guys, I'm actually getting over a cold, so I can't even think straight. So I'm here with my Apple iPad 4th generation and the MacBook Pro. And I'm going to be showing you how to get your iPad, iPhone, or iPod touch screen, or other Mac to screen on any Mac PC or Windows actually which is a new version they just got Windows on this so you're gonna want to go to this website the link will be in the description and you're gonna want to download this app reflector so you can get it for free a trial or you can actually buy it for 13 bucks but let's for the video let's just get the trial and I already have it so let me just stop it before it finishes and it'll take you to this page this page um, will just tell you how to do it so you're gonna want to um, it's going to take you to this one page right here. It's going to open that and you're going to want to just drag over here to your applications and it'll install. After that, you can go into your applications, which are right here, or your launch pad. And then find that app, which is right here. And it'll come up like this and you're going to click try reflector and OK. And as you can see, it says reflector up there. And... I'm sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen. Actually, you can change this. I didn't really know this. So, my eye device is white. So, now what shows up will be white. And as you can see, it says there's an AirPlay server right there. So, if I come into my iPad and I put in my password and go into Control Center, I think you can't even see that right now, but there is an AirPlay server and I click on it um, it'll show up as my PC so Christian's MacBook Pro and if I turn mirroring as you can see right there that is my iDevice and let me try to switch this into iPad white there we go um, you can switch these between all these different models which I think is really cool um, so this is an iPad 4th generation, of course, but it does show as an iPad Air. Let's just put it as what mine is, the iPad White. So, it, is, it does look really smooth, actually, even though this is iOS 7.1 beta. As you can see, if I go into settings, software update 7.1, this is beta 1, I believe. Um, so it does run pretty smooth. Without beta, it does run a bit smoother, and if I put it landscape, as you can see, this is landscape. It goes landscape on there. Portrait goes portrait. Let's play a little game just to show you how fast everything is, how fast the conversions and just transitions to everything is. So just click on everything. I don't even know what I'm clicking. Just trying to start this game. And I'm going to put the iPad right here so you can see when I turn, it turns almost the same on the on the computer, on the iPad screen on the computer. So I just saw a little bit of lag. I can assure that wasn't on my iPad because it still runs like it's brand new. It is all from the computer, but still, most of the time, it looks pretty smooth. Turn left, it turns left. Turn right, it turns right. Everything is pretty smooth right there. So that's pretty much it with this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, just put it down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, to my channel. Um, that's the only way you guys are going to see my updates. I don't really have a set time or date where I put my updates. I don't do it like every Monday or so. So the only way for you guys to know if I put up a new video is by subscribing. And we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Peace.